Unfortunately, a lot of people confuse witchcraft with the fictional caricatures they see on TV and in novels. This is quite clearly one of the reasons most people disbelieve in the supernatural. But the truth is that witches do exist, as does magic. And like all things in life, magic could be used for good or it could be used for evil. Black magic spells bring death and destruction. White magic spells bring healing. A greatly experienced witch, such as a high priest or priestess, can cast the most powerful of spells, even, in some very rare occasions, a resurrection spell which can bring back the dead. But one must understand that the universe's life force is limited. It must be taken from other living things, and only the most experienced casters are able to control where that life force is taken from. So it is imperative that these spells are only performed by the right people for the right reasons. Hey, I uh, just talked to the sheriff. He's going to send one of his deputies over to watch out for us later. That's good to know. Yep. Okay, honey, then I'll, I'll just leave you to it. Hello, Rebecca. It's very nice to meet you. Hi, it's nice to meet you, too. Um, thank you so much for getting back to me. It's my pleasure. I, I see that you live in the Napa Valley. It's a very beautiful place to live. One of my dearest friends lives in that area too. What can I do to help you? Well, I, I really enjoyed your, your video on, on witchcraft. And it really inspired me to want to meet a witch. Look, this might, this might sound ridiculous, but do you know any real witches? Because if you do, then I could really use their help. That is an excellent question. And it is highly probable that I do know of a real witch. But it's just not the kind of information I give out to just anyone willy-nilly. I'd have to ask you a whole multitude of questions just to set up an appointment with someone like that. Incidentally, when, when were you actually thinking of meeting this real witch? Tonight, if, if possible. It, it's very urgent. Look, please, I, I'm not trying to waste your time. I, I'll pay you if I need to. This is, this is very important to me. Hmm. I think I might know just the right person for you. But before we can proceed, I'm going to have to ask you some very detailed questions. Of course. I'll answer anything. Just, just tell me what you need to know. Oh, yeah. I mean, I pointed it right at his head, and his brain just turned into this bloody oatmeal-like mush. It came out of every orifice in his head. It was insane. Oh my god, that is insane. I can honestly say I've never heard of that one being done before. So it worked pretty well then. Oh, god, it was so effective and fast. It was just so messy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh. It's just this whole thing's such an incredible story. I mean, you really should let me write the book on this. We'd make an absolute killing off it, I can assure you. Yeah. But you better get over that book idea, because I'm going to make your brain seep out of your head. Okay, okay, I'll forget it. Calm down. Just glad you're all okay. That's the thing. Good morning. <sighs> so is, uh, is Mark still up? Uh... He just woke up. I gotta go. Okay, I'll talk to you later then. Goodbye, Rebecca. See